will soon be able to confirm the purchase of an additional 100 million doses for each of the two FDA-authorized vaccines, Pfizer and Moderna. Not in hand yet, but ordered. We expect these additional 200 million doses to be delivered this summer. And some of it will come as early, begin to come in early summer, but by the mid, by the mid summer, that this vaccine will be there. And the order, and, 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 and that increases the total vaccine order in the United States by 50%, from 400 million order to 600 million. This is enough vaccine to fully vaccinate 300 Americans by end of the summer, the beginning of the, of the fall. Joe Biden is coming in and um, I think his transition team already kind of laid a lot of the foundation narratively um, in the media that they were taking on kind of a bungled operation. If if there was anyone out there who um, I was under the impression that Operation Warp Speed, which was a great success, it seems like up until the distribution process, um, but was otherwise a great success in getting the vaccine um, you know, produced. Uh, but I think the Biden transition team kind of set forth in the media, setting out the narrative that uh, Operation Warp Speed has um, slowed down quite a bit, quite dramatically in its distribution uh, process, and that they are coming in and playing a big cleanup job. And so I think in that way that they've set expectations fairly low for themselves um, uh, in that, you know, I actually don't think there's been a pres an incoming president with lower expectations writ large uh, than Joe Biden in quite some time, um, you know, following Donald Trump and his own Democratic primary. And so, you know, couple those two together and then having um, a daunting task, obviously, of getting an entire nation vaccinated and an economy reopened. Yet at the same time, kind of like having a nation that is um, has been primed to sit at home for a while and wait and understands that this could be a really difficult process. And so um, I think in terms of the vaccines themselves, people are expecting um, that they will get the vaccinations, but they understand that there's so many other uh, positions to place blame, right? So at the state level, at, um, at the municipal level in their hospitals, at the at the CVS or at the Walmart pharmacy. Um, I think that the Biden administration will get a little bit of a pass in the beginning. I don't know how long that will last. Um, I generally give new administrations a six month honeymoon. I think the same will bear out with the Biden administration. Um, it, where I think things will get tricky in terms of the COVID response more so than the vaccinations and even the reopening of the economy is uh, the reopening of schools. I do think parents, uh, a large, a large amount of them being Biden supporters, are gonna probably not have too much patience staying home with their uh, school age children for too much longer. And I think the vaccine rollout has a big part to play in that. Um, right now, most states are kind of prioritizing by age instead of um, groups by occupation, such as teachers. Uh, and so if stuff, you know, continues to be so disorganized to the point where schools can't open up before the end of this semester, I definitely, and that's within the six month window of a honeymoon, I definitely think the Biden administration will have to have to account for that. Well, you know, absolutely. Biden has has good numbers right now. Um, he's come out and set realistic, um, some might even say two conservative goals on vaccinations um, and, and the steps that they need to achieve um, to take to achieve them. Uh, so, you know, people really only have right now is goals to go on that the administration has rolled out. Um, there's obviously this, this poll is, you know, taken day after a couple of days after inauguration itself. 
So the comms team has done a very good job of putting out forth what their plan is going to be um, or what they think their plan is going to be of how it's going to roll out. And so I think people certainly are a place where they, they're, they voted, a lot of people voted for stability, voted for um, something that they know, they know, you know, they knew Joe Kennedy, Joe Biden, they've known Joe Biden for 50 years. They know steady and slow, and that's kind of what they're looking for. I see a lot of that reflecting in how they're kind of responding to some of these questions here. Um, most of all of other uh, Biden, President Biden's approval numbers and favorability numbers are very strong in the 50s and even here in, in the 60s. Uh, this is you know, a really good time for the Biden administration. They have a lot to, uh, to do and a lot of uh, lots to talk about in the in really the stage to do that. Now, one of these things I think that um, you know, we're going to see maybe some changes is once again, is as the team is actually now in charge of rolling this out. I mean, everyone knows massive nas- nationwide programs, uh, even going back to the uh, rolling out the Obamacare website. These are tough things to do. These are really tough things to do that people, every single American interacts with. And so this is going to have even these little issues that pop up in, you know, some random county in, in a state um, can, be, can be national news these days. And so there could be certainly some polling impacts there uh, when, when something happens out in the country. Um, but, but it's really kind of an interesting place. And I think that, the, like I said, the Biden administration put forth a, a really um, you know, conservative plan. And they're talking about uh, summertime as being their, their time where they're going to be able to um, have enough I- injections to inoculate uh, the, the whole country. And so I think that's really kind of what we're running into. So as we talk about the timelines and what the Biden administration is up against, it's, it's really summer. Um, right now, we're in the winter time. People have kind of, kind of given up and gotten used to this idea of being locked inside. And now that it's cold out, um, Netflix is back on TV and no one's worried about and trying to get outside. But, but spring's going to come along soon. And then summer, as we know, <laughs> follows spring and people are going to want to get outside. If people can't go on their vacations, if people can't start getting their kids back to school, then then even in that you know six month window, there's going to be some, I, w- I would definitely imagine some big drops in, in Biden's approval numbers, um, not only on the handling of the coronavirus um, inoculation distribution, but also um, overall approval numbers.